All right, welcome back, friends, to Room World. So, we just got Stevenson to join us. Although, actually, not Stevenson. Uh, Dolmar. Henry Dolmar Stevenson, who's decent at shooting. And oh, no, actually, hang on. Windweaver was in first with a request, so Dolmar, you'll be next. But Windweaver wanted to be someone who's like, you know, decent at fighting or whatever. Uh, I suppose uh, Lumi would have been better at that because Lumi's got much better combat stats. But Lumi was the first that we had in this colony and she's going to be the one that uh, keeps her identity. Let's look at Peza. So he's from the purple boar Basculo. Who are only minus 18, so it shouldn't be impossible for us to recruit him. Uh, recruitment difficulty 99%. Okay, no, never mind. That's why we're just going to release him. We'll release him as soon as we can. And get him out of our little setup as well. And I need to get Lumi out there to go rescue that uh, downed colonist. Where are we food-wise? Oh, we've only got three packaged meals, and I need to crank out as many meals as I can. We can't make pemmican, can we? No, we'd have to research it. Hmm. Let's hunt a couple of muffalos. It'll give us a huge amount of uh, meat. The second this dickhead can move, we'll get rid of him. In fact, who's our warden? It's Lumi. Okay, I'm right clicking, but we can't release him yet, it looks like. <coughs> get him, Woundweaver. The water pistol is surprisingly good for hunting. Mad Dracoon. Ooh, we gotta break these ship chunks down. <laughs> when we was fleeing now. For goodness sake. Running from a raccoon. Come on, dude. Really? It's coming. It's gonna nibble my bum. Let's see if we get inside before it starts nibbling. Okay, we should be good. What is up with this raccoon? Is the damn thing going for a corpse or something? The fuck is up with this thing? It's crazy. You might even say it's maddened. Got one more, there you go. Good lad. So moving's very poor, yeah, you can hardly move. Who's my cook again? It'll be Lumi. Construction is Lumi as well. Good lord, Lumi. This, this girl does sleep an awful lot. Oh, get up, you've rested enough, you lazy cow. Good lord. Am I missing uh, nothing actually? I've got my turbine almost fully built. Our first little rice crop came through. Okay, good. Let's get some corn going there afterwards. Oak tree, good. I 
It's kind of bonkers the amount of raids you have to put up with, but... Oh well, that's the room world for you. It is a dangerous place. Uh, wound Weaver, can you grow? Yes, you can. It's super important that he does that. Right, please release Pezza, for fuck's sakes. Also, I can only release him in five hours, I imagine. Is that how that works? Oh, he's off. I think it counts as having been released then. Okay, good. Let's hope he gets off the map uh, safely then. I think I just missed Wound Weaver chucking him out of the, uh, the building. Yeah, get your ass out of here. Cool, that's better. And we've got more than enough meat now to make loads of simple meals, which I can take with me to go fetch that downed guy. Wound Weaver, what is stressing you out? Everything. Everything's stressing you out. Do you have any drugs I can give him? Doesn't look like it. Good, so one more of those idiots to come attack us and release him, then they will stop being aggressive for a little while at least. Maybe can you finish... Oh, construction skill. I think I need construction four for that. I'm nowhere near it. Shit. Also construction four. So do me when you wake up, I need you to just crank out as many meals as you can and go fetch that downed guy. In fact you have plenty you have plenty of rest. Go back to bed, you lazy cow. Fuck's sakes. One point eight days on that fine meal. Two point six here. Oh right, this counts as outdoors because of the embrasures. Okay. What you got for us? Rhinoceri? I don't think I want to buy any rhinoceros rhinoceroses. You can take that Luciferium and all the birth control and the shitty wooden clubs and the poor auto pistol. 77 cents. Let's hang on to it. What can I really benefit from? So we've got over 200. I think the pemmican would be super useful, especially considering that I have to go fetch a downed person. Perfect. Okay, Wound Weaver, you're going to be by yourself here for a little bit. I think there's more than enough food. So does that include... Lavish, does that include pemmican? It does. Okay. So world... Form Caravan, Lumi, all the pemmican. That's a week's worth of food. Excellent. Take some medicine with you. And there's no drugs you can take with. I think take the normal short bow with you to give it to the person you rescue. Well, I don't have any sleeping bags for you to go with, though. What is that? An outpost of two enemies. Yeah, we can't do that. Okay, so Wound Weaver, what are you going to be up to while Lumi's away? Mining is atrocious. Construction is atrocious. <laughs> Autistic, that doesn't help. Crafting doesn't really help.
think I need to get some blocks going so that we can replace those embrasures. Potatoes coming along. Taters. Plant skill is not good either. Oh, pretty soon, or well, at some point in the future, I'm hoping we can tame some alpaca. The alpaca are great. They, they pretty much feed themselves. Well, in the summer at least. And their alpaca wool is, from what I've found, just the very best for making winter clothes. I would have thought that muffler wool or blue fur would have given the very best uh, cold insulation, but I mean, I made a parka out of out of alpaca wool, and it gave 40, 40 Celsius insulation. Okay, now it says there might be some danger here, so what is that? An ambush! Fuck, how many, how many baddies? Can I grab him and get out before they hit us? I doubt it. Am I going to have to stand and, do I stand and fight or capture and run? It's an excellent auto pistol, but he's a terrible shot. Whereas we're a really good shot. Stand and fight, Lumi. Hopefully once I kill one of them, then they'll flee. But if I don't get this guy down before he gets me into melee range... Ooh. Kill him! Don't go down, Lumi. Oh, Christ. No! Okay, <laughs> we're back down to naked brutality. This is the this this, this series that the story of Lumi the Illuminator has just become the story of Wound Weaver the Commissar. I'm so glad he's just casually standing there, throwing fucking hoops. <sighs> Shit. Okay, so in retrospect, I really should have sent them both along. Whoopsie. Okay, so Wound Weaver, what kind of skills do you have? You're a, good, you're a decent artist. I could try and make some artistic items. Sell them. Get money that way. And I, oh, what the fuck am I going to do with that, though? <laughs> Jesus. It's not a good situation. Welp, we shall continue pressing forward. Very much the point of this playthrough. We've got some slate blocks. Let's make structure, wall, slate, there, and there. And then, no jokes, we'll dig around here and put an embrasure there so we can shoot at our front door. Yeah, yeah, I know he wants to break. Uh, wonderful. Uh, a pack of manhunting rats. It's just one rat. Visitors, keep us safe, please. Good boys. If 
you've had enough rest. Move your ass, Windweaver. So what's tethered? His... Uh, okay, here's Parker. Yeah, and here's the point I was making about alpaca wool. Look at that. 56 degrees of insulation. Shit, Lumi, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I mean, my original plan was to complete these traps and then send them both. So why the hell did I change my mind? That was by far the better thing to do. Because I'm an Egypt, that's why. Okay, at least the wall will the room will be secure once that wall is finished. Did you you have enough you have more than enough of those meals. This doesn't take forever though. Yes, this is triple speed. This is how bad he is at, at mining. <laughs> oh my god, I fucked that up so bad. If I'd taken him along with his machine pistol and he's eight in shooting, it would have been fine, I think. But no. I stubbied it. I totally stubbied it. Stubbied it right up. Let him relax a little bit. Oh god, this low psychic drone. Timing couldn't have been worse. There goes the muffler meat. Actually, he can drop that. He doesn't need the warmth right now. It's comfy between 8 and 30. And yeah, we're sitting at 19. So that's fine. Oh, are you kidding me? Toxic fallout? Okay, get out there. Grab them taters before the toxic fallout kills it all. Precious potatoes. And I need to finish building that, uh, no, don't sew. I should finish building this bathroom area. Let's finish the embrasures first. I think so, if I build a little structure there, that's our little loo area, and then I want to build another one of these little tunnel things so you can, through an embrasure, shoot at the front door. Touch redundant, I know. This is just desperation time for us. We need a door of some sort. Yes. Well, if there's marble around here, if I get enough marble, I can make some marble blocks, make a statue. Maybe sell the statue for some good money. If I can get enough money saved up with some silver, I can maybe buy a slave. And one thing I want to try as well in this playthrough is selling slaves. If we capture people who attack us, we'll actually just take them along with us in a caravan and go sell them. I want to see how that interacts with, especially if you take them to the place that they belong to. I find that very interesting. Okay, so we'll build an embrasure, a slate embrasure. No, don't do that. I'm 
What have we got there? We need, I think we need 15 for an embrasure. Yeah. Deconstructing ship chunk, and now is not the time, actually. Focus on that. Where are those ship chunks? Belay that order. Does it have to wait? At least he's keeping the place good and clean. Uh. It's 12. He does two more of these. He'll have the 14 that he needs. 16 that he needs to build the embrasure. Do that from inside, you freaking dumbass. And he's built a roof, hasn't he? Good, okay. <laughs> Look at this mining. God. I suppose I should be grateful that it's marble here and not granite. Because at least the marble is easier to build. Uh, easier to mine through, I mean. Initial stages of toxic buildup. Okay. Group of travelers, huh? Well, okay, I've got a I've got a bed here for you. Welcome. Where are they? Where are these travelers? I can't believe I got fucking Lumi killed. I'm such a dumbass. Okay, we're gonna need more wood for this. What I need to do here is complete this bathroom. Actually, that's not worth it because even if he just pops outside while he's uncovered, that's that'll just have to do. And I need to do a similar thing that I've done here. Oh yeah, I know you're sick, dude. I know. Game is hard. Come on. some wood need some wood in this situation just identify a problem and work at it one at a time he was in darkness okay let's let's take care of that then deconstruct that wall get this built out here we'll loop that around that kind of needs to be on this side doesn't it if I can reinstall all this stuff one down, then he can make open that up there. That's too late now. Who's vomiting? I think it's that visitor guy. He's probably outside somewhere getting sick from the toxic fallout. It wasn't Woundweaver barfing, was it? Visitors have arrived. They're afraid to enter. Yep, fine. I ensure your safety. I in no way can ensure your safety, but I'll do so. Don't worry, I'm sure you won't die horribly. Choco, you are right, mate? Okay, now I've got and created another hole in the bloody wall here. The first thing first, build a door so we're not dying of toxic fallout. I don't know if I want to try to entertain him. No, my social skill is, is, is dreadful. Let's not do that. Uh, so now what? So 
So how do I build, if I put the embrasure right here, I should be able to shoot there. So we go, uh, let's see, you no, know, wall, embrasure, wall. And then that's gonna like make a little uh, wood embrasure. A little sort of covered over bathroom area as well. This type of thing is gonna have to is gonna be temporary, but I mean I feel like we're in a pretty desperate state here. It's just all about survival right now. I'm I'm so glad you, you keep cleaning up dirt, Wound Weaver, because that's you know really a priority right now. Construction botched. You can't even build a fucking wall. We've got loads of steel. I could build all the shit out of steel, I suppose. Okay, now we've got enough wood. That's good. Except for that there. That's going to have to be out of steel. So Wound Weaver's a decent craftsman. I suppose I could take all that steel and just start cranking out knives. Maybe go sell them uh, at the nearby area. Sell them to anyone who passes by. Oof. But but most likely, I mean, if I look at his, his bio, what's his best way to generate revenue? I think through creating artistic stuff. So let's go production, sculptor's table. Gonna need more wood. In fact, that's probably too much. At least we're all indoors here. Indoors, indoors, toxic fallout, indoors. That's outdoors. Not a good situation, is it? Let's just finish that damn wall. And haul that. What it does grabbing these animals like this now, the ones are all down. If they're dying from ew, from toxic fallout. I'm welcome for hunting. Am I going to get sick from eating them? Maybe. I don't want to take that chance, frankly. So Mickey says there's an enemy outpost got about one enemies. We may as well try. I mean, why not? It's super far. But what the fuck? Let's at least try. The question then is, can, can I defeat that one enemy? And if that outpost actually has a... Well, now he's hauling dead squirrels. Why are you doing that? So this fool is actually now going to start just hauling all the corpses. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. I think maybe we don't go for that go for that uh, person at that quest I think it's too hard but then again if we don't risk big we don't benefit big and this new colonist could be the solution to all my problems. If he moves on the world map with toxic fallout, he's probably going to get sick, I imagine. So let's at least wait till the toxic fallout is finished. Okay, let's make marble blocks. Do until you have... 50 and then make a small sculpture 
and then maybe if we have a few of these small sculptures ready to go, we can take them with us to that nearby area. Or the nearby village, I mean. Chunks, stone chunks, marble chunks. I feel like gaining the economic route's our best bet. I mean, trying to fight. We've only got eight melee skill and a poor machine pistol. And Lumi couldn't defend herself. Stop trying to haul dead animals, you freaking dumbass. What is the matter with you? Okay, our ability to sculpt, that's going to be the thing that gets us out of this. Also, uh, haul your parker inside before it completely deteriorates. I wonder what the art piece is going to be about. On this day, Stubby was a fucking dumbass and got my only other person living with me, Lumi, killed. Fuck was that? Oh, there must have been a boom rat going up. Oh, dead mega sloth. Rank. If we get someone else to join, what I desperately need from them is to have mining and construction. Like, that was pretty quick. A good marble small sculpture. Ghostface Raider. This carving bears a portrayal of a criminal surrounded by robbers. The work has a minimalistic feeling and a static structure. The whole image is depicted by the careful arrangement of ten hornets. Author Henry Woundweaver Stevenson. Let's chuck it down right in the middle here and admire it, shall we? So what's it's, what is it worth? 149, that's not a whole lot. So, let's prioritize his artistic endeavors and his crafting. So you got to craft marble until you have 50 and then make it into a statue. He's got a decent amount of food for the moment. Oof. Chunks of spacecraft. Oh, sweet. They're absolutely amazed. Should I go for the chunks of spacecraft? I mean, why not? Let's just see what's, what's in them. percent I gotta stop going outside but I mean look at this there's this space chunks I mean they could be gold they could be silver components plasteel okay but I mean once you've hauled all that in we're not gonna I'm not gonna go break down any more ship chunks just wait until this toxic fallout is done if anything, you should just haul a load of a whole load of marble indoors. And then just yeah, create more blocks, turn those blocks into statues. So that when the inevitable raid comes and the, <laughs> the raiders turn us into paste, they can at least be impressed by how artistic and beautiful it is in here. Somewhat impressive, somewhat rich, quite spacious, but dirty. Ugh. So one thing I learned about Dirty, and I had a previous playthrough where my colonists kept on getting sick from food poisoning because of Dirty cooking area. Once you get machining, you can make steel floor tiles, which helps with cleanliness. But I would like put the kitchen into a steel walled area, which helps with the cleanliness. But once you have steel walls, steel tiles, it stays positive with cleanliness. And then you know, I haven't gotten, haven't had anyone get food poisoning since then. So one day we'll do that. Okay, 
good. There we go. Cutting stone blocks. Good lad. I'll let you prioritize hauling all of this shite. No, that, 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 that's not right. Hang on. So hang on. Oh, that's limestone. I thought that was marble. That's marble. We're doomed. <laughs> Make no mistake about it. We are doomed. But we shall keep struggling right till the end. So it looks like those potatoes actually didn't die to the toxic fallout. Okay, in that case, resume planting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He doesn't need all of that time to sleep. Exotic goods trader. Okay. I might have to flog this plasteel just for some money. I need to get whatever I can. Now here's a question. Do you have to uninstall the statue to be able to sell it? Oh, I would love to get my hands on a cleaner base station, but no. It looks like the answer is yes. I need to uninstall that before I can sell it. Oh, he won't even take my art though. Oh no, he will. 102. Good. I can get... No. Let's keep the plasteel. What's going to help us? Well, we've got 103 gold to, sh to, to, to shop with, so it doesn't really make a difference. Look at that Alpha Poly Grand Sculpture, 40,000. An arcade cabinet would be good if we had any power, which we don't. Cleaner base stations, man, those are wonderful. Okay. Let's just sell that and hopefully get enough money to, to buy a slave at some point, I suppose. So at the beginning of this episode, we, were, we had two colonists and we're looking at getting three. And now we're going to end the episode with just one. That's just so typical of me. I hope you guys who are familiar with my channel know that you don't come here for pro plays come here to see shit go wrong. Okay, we've got to stop going outside now. Okay, just so that area. Stop hauling squirrels, you tit! What is the matter with you? obsessed with corpses he just wants he wants to haul them all I want to see their little desiccated squirrel bodies it's truth uh, I suppose just letting the screen wander aimlessly to the west just kind of just <laughs> kind of sums up how this has gone ambitious but rubbish let's finish the sculpture and then we'll uh, call this episode quits take a break Food is holding steady at least. It's totally why I, I, I killed off our other colonists. If you only have one colonist, then surviving by yourself doesn't require much food. One label rotted away in storage. Okay. A normal marble small sculpture. So a torso sized piece of material sculpted in artistic form, entitled a stream. On this sculpture is a portrayal of two pelicans slaughtering five camels. Woundweaver retaliates with his hammer. The overall composition is vertical. 
The whole image is depicted by the careful arrangement of several hulls. This portrayal tells the story of Woundweaver's village being attacked by mad animals on the 5th of September, 5500. I never really got modern art. At this point, we're just living, we're role-playing and living as a, a mad artist off by himself. But perhaps what I should be doing is, is boosting his construction. And I can turn these blocks uh, into, you know, more an expansion of the structure. And if that gets his construction up, we can build more traps to help us stay safe. Get construction up to four, we can get power going. I don't know. Or I'll just keep cranking out these little statues. No, they're not worth enough. Okay, when we come back, we're going to switch tack a little bit. We'll stop crafting marble. And we'll start going for what's this limestone. Uh, make chop bamboo into wood. Oh, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. Make limestone until you have 100. Okay, friends, thanks for watching this absolute shit show of a rim row, rim, rim row, which is almost like rim world, but it's more rowing. Rim world playthrough. I'm still going for nine. I suppose what we can do is we can make limestone blocks, pave the floors here, build more of an extension out, you know, mine in here, build more rooms. That's not over. It is not over. Mark my words, friends. It's not over. Thanks for watching. See you next time.